Welcome to Commodities and here we're looking at uh, gold here and um, we just need to be a little bit careful now because we've got a little five wave structure that's actually ending here on uh, on this uh, trend line high here so um, just be a little bit uh, mindful of that. Let's go in and have a look at that. The way that I've got it counted so far is um, one, two, three, four and five for one, um, then uh, three, four, uh, and five here uh, as such. I'll just see if I've got that uh, on an intraday chart. Just, just before I, I do that, though, I think that this is the right count here. If I was wrong here, then the count would be with one here, two to here, then one, two, three, four, and five to here. So one, two, three, four, five to here. So it would have the third wave here, the fourth wave pulling back to here, and the fifth wave up through to here. So just keep that in mind as well there as we uh, sort of move in here. I didn't get this set up through here, so um, not to worry though. I just really wanted to have a look at this here. This doesn't appear to be finished yet. Um, there should be another high to come in, in, in here. So if you're long in gold, um, you don't really want the price coming back below uh, this, well, this high here. In fact, um, the 335, um, but uh, you could put your stops at 3, 1336 here if you're looking to the upside uh, here. But uh, you, you'd, at being, being at 340 here, we'd, you'd have to expect um, the distance above would be the distance below. So into the 137, 138 sort of area through here would be the support for any move down through to here. Uh, and any, any movement up would move up like that from here. Um, the copper market, the base metals are, are really haven't changed at all here. But the main point here is that while the market is above 320, then the market is supported. Yes, we know it's got supply and resistance here and it is forcing it down through here. Um, but the forcing down here, the pattern uh, is still uh, considered to be corrective at this stage and not impulsive to the downside. But that 320 there would need to stay there. And obviously the copper is, you know, an indication for all the other base metals uh, and iron ore and, you know, the material sector in general there. So, you know, a break lower into the 320 there is not a good look. Even when we're looking at BHP and Rio and FMG and so forth, you know, we can see that they are uh, in line with our general uh, ASX 200 market being quite uh, toppy at the moment. So, you know, we can uh, look towards weakness uh, in the next sessions or two. The uh, oil market here, um, it's got a possible high in now that we've got our little five wave structure to the upside here. And we'd be looking at uh, five waves down here three waves back up and then another five down through to here. Um, you know, until the 100 here becomes a retested resistance, then we're not really in a shorting uh, sort of mode as such. And any move down here can be uh, corrective. Um, looking for a five, three, five structure uh, here. And, you know, there is a lot of support here, so it will be a bumpy ride. So it's probably not the best short uh, in the market as such. Uh, the soybean market is uh, on track here. Uh, I think I may have adjusted the wave count. I don't know if I did it yesterday or today, but um, looking for wave two here, the one, the two, and then one, two, three, four, and five for the third, the fourth wave here, then up for the fifth in five waves, the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five, coming in close to the 1400, which was our target for the top of wave three here. So this market, as mentioned, can be in line with the uh, US indices as well. And we've got to bring the US dollar in as a mix here as well. But either way, that 1400 is going to have, you know, profit taking and sellers there as such. So if you're um, if you don't want to take the heat here, because this market can retrace. Uh, let's have a look in the th from wave two to wave three here, say at 1400 here, we'll be looking back at 360 here. So 360 uh, is, is a possible uh, retracement level for this particular wave four here. So that's a fair bit of heat to carry if you've been buying every 10 points. But uh, if you've been under trading uh, on those position sizes on the way up, then 
uh, you shouldn't have a problem in, in holding through this because it's better to hold through it in a way because it's difficult to feed them feed the positions back in there especially if you've been uh, building positions you know from below 1300 here or even around 1300 whatever but um, you know a longer term target is the 1500 so it's another 100 points to the upside so um, you know we're using this as, as an opportunity to, to buy pullbacks and um, you know, then build once we've got support on the 1400 then we've got ourselves and you know in, we've got ourselves into a nice position then but getting ourselves into a nice position here is not going to be uh, easy you have to sort of sweat it out a little bit but um, and it's also going to be time consuming as well so it's likely to have a little correction back like this then a move up here then a correction back you know it could be like this here so you know prepare yourself for um you know i may have exaggerated here but you know it's something like this you know there's not many patterns that can occur at a particular level there's only sort of well two and then variations on those two so the overshoot and the classic there's variations more variations on the classic of course but uh expect something like this across this level here but we will accommodate that uh and then we'll build into the trade to the upside as well the wheat market here um got a little bit scrappy in this smaller fourth wave here but it's still working through the 600 it's probably finished now because we can see a clear excuse me three clear wave structure there um but now we do need to see this push up through here um i always treat the the, the 620 here is you know it's a pivot within group one but it's actually a little bit more than that it's actually um well, in terms of using fibonacci as as price ratio the 62 is actually just the point off being 61.8 and that's why it always kicks in a lot in in that in that regard so um anyway that's that so we should see this market push up from here now the corn market is is on track as well um we're looking for uh had a bit of an overshoot pattern through here on the on the 450 here the midpoint here uh, look the correction look, could just continue to move up from here um so um, otherwise we can expect an abc and we've got the a wave the b wave the c wave here and then a move up and it may even get a little bit uglier than that too because fourth waves tend to do that we could end up with a triangle pattern through here as well or double zigzag um, however um, we'll be seeing once it's complete we'll see further to the upside once again don't look for the perfect uh, position in in here uh, the perfect setup you're better off getting smaller positions all around these numbers here you know uh, every 10 points or every five points and make the positions really small and that way you can you know you can uh, unwind them uh, if necessary and it gives you more flexibility to manage risk that way as well the orange juice is uh, looking okay as well it's uh she's hanging in there so look long as long as it's really above this long as the 142 doesn't become the retested resistance uh you know uh it's 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 fine so we're still expecting a move um up into the 150 area here and then a reaction from here as well and then further upside here but you know i don't really have a very clean uh structure to to the upside the only the only reason that i'm suggesting to the upside is because this move here is in three waves so we should take out this this top here i mean this move here is in three waves here so that makes it corrective to the upside so it's not a very good looking structure that we can have a lot of confidence in and as i mentioned before you know this wave two that i've placed here is still in the iffy bin you know because it can be over here um, and we can get a five wave structure down here before we see further upside so you know keep position sizes in this particular market even smaller than the other ones our main objective here is to have the midpoint the the medium level 150 as support and then we can trade up there but we don't want to hang around and wait too much because we'll be looking at a wave three here uh, moving to the upside um, so okay well uh that's that keep an eye on the us dollar as well if i just we haven't talked about it in the commodity section but in the effects we have 
The thing here is that um, if you haven't uh, listened to the FX report, basically we're looking at this being an impulse wave to the upside and this being an A and a B and a C wave here. So this can be the wave too low here. So we may see a strong move up through here as a wave three. And um, if that's the case, that's going to place pressure on commodities, not straight away, but um, it will eat into it, of course. All right. Thank you for listening. Cheers.